hello everyone and welcome to funnel2tunnel.com and today we are into our video whereby we are discussing the loading sequences i know a lot of people were waiting for this video so today we are starting with the loading sequences so today we are taking example number two into consideration whereby the vessel was supposed to load at akaba and proceed to gangavaram for discharging if you remember just in case if you don't remember i would advise you to again watch that video the link is given in the description below you can click that link and watch that video the port of gangavaram had a draft restriction of 13 meters we have already done the dead weight calculation we have also done the pre stowage plan and today we will be doing the loading sequence that is step number three as to how to load the cargo and i hope that these videos are helping you and making you understand the concepts of dead weight calculation and loading sequences on board bulk carrier just in case you have any queries you are always free to write in the comment section below you can also mail us at ask at the rate final to tunnel.com and we will be replying to you as soon as possible so without further ado let's move on and see that how to go about preparing the loading sequence for example number two so before we move on to prepare the loading sequence using the loadicator i would like to tell you about the loading sequence form which i am sure you might have seen as junior officers a second officer third officer and if you are a chief officer you must be aware of the same then loading sequence is an important document which the chief officer needs to prepare stating that how he wants to proceed with the loading that means in which all hold he needs to load how much amount of cargo safely but this information is required by the shore terminal in order to plan your loading because terminal needs to know that in which hold how much cargo the vessel requires to put so this is what the load sequence tells you so this is a typical example on your screen that how a loading sequence sheet looks like the cells in the yellow i have filled for your ready reference like load port in this case is akaba discharge port is gangavaram our devolasting rate has been mentioned maximum draft available minimum draft available maximum air draft sailing draft we have planned for is 13.07 if you remember in our last video for the same exam also the dock water density uh, the dock water density at akaba is 1.025 which we have taken for our calculation purpose the last call the number of loaders very important we are loading at akaba using only one loader as per the information from agent and the loading rate is 2500 tons per hour assume storage factor of the cargo has also been mentioned now comes this uh, ship diagram whereby it mentions that how much cargo needs to go into what all holes like cargo hole number one can have 10900 tons of cargo cargo hole number four can have 6984 tons of cargo and so on and so forth these figures if you remember we have obtained from our pre-store calculation the link to which again has been provided in the description below you can watch that video and come back here anytime so i hope i'm clear till now all right coming to the bottom section of the form first column says poor number the second column is split into two divisions the first is the whole number the second is tons this means that in which all hold how much cargo you want to put for example if i want to put in cargo hold number one cargo of four thousand tons so it will show over here as you can see all right the third column is the ballast operation you should mention here what kind of deballasting operation you will be carrying out over here common sense says that if you're loading cargo you need to pump out your ballast so in this case when you're preparing loading sequence you need to deballast certain tanks and so all these tanks you need to mention over here also the time required for your deballasting should be mentioned over here any comments for the duty officer or for the terminal then comes the another column of calculated values which shows the draft forward and aft and maximum bf and sf this is the expected draft for example after hole number one if you load cargo 4000 tons maybe you can expect a forward draft of 7.4 just an example an aft draft of 8.8 .8, let's say just an example and maybe bm can be experienced as 75 percent and sf can be 80 percent these figures you will be obtaining from loadicator i'll show you how and that is what the whole core concept of preparing a loading sequence is we'll be discussing that on further soon 
but right now we are just going through how a loading sequence form looks like now in calculated values again we have got air draft and what is a midship draft let's say in this case a midship draft is about 8 meters 8.2 meters let's say for example and uh, the last column is a very important column and i am sure a lot of junior officers like second officer third officer might be knowing about this column because this is what is to be filled by them so in this column you have to put the observed values not the calculated values that means if the duty officer finds out that after loading 4000 tons of cargo in hold number one he got a forward draft equal into 7.5 and aft draft equal into 8.9 or 8.7 he should mention it over here also the midship draft if there is a lot of difference between the observed values and the calculated values definitely something is going wrong maybe the loading rate is not what was specified to the ship by the terminal or the deballasting rate is not going to the mark and this needs to be brought to the attention of the chief officer and the terminal consequently then we have got general notes that no deviation from above plan without prior approval of chief mate and you've got a lot of other information general information but very important is it needs to be signed by the ship as well as a terminal a copy in receipt should always be taken by the ship's officer because it is very important that terminal has received what you are asking them to do uh, most of the times a lot of port state control when they board the ship ask this to be the first document that whether we have a signed copy of the loading sequence so i hope this form is very simple you might have seen it during your watches out at port on different ships and uh, let's move ahead and check out that uh, how to obtain the data from the loadicator in order to complete this form all right so here we are and i have devised an arrival condition at load port akavas because that is where you will be carrying out your loading i have changed the condition to in port because now the vessel is in port and the density of the water at akaba is 1.025 the load line is let's say summer it doesn't really matter here because we are not going up to the marks we are loading very much less than the marks so this is what the arrival condition at akaba looks like the cargo holes are empty the fuel oil tanks contains oil which was planned for the same is the case with the diesel oil tank so we have planned that on departure the vessel will be having about 150 tons of fresh water so i have kept 150 then comes the ballast water tanks which are full as of now except the four peak tank which we have planned for 50 percent for the port stay i have considered 30 tons of slops and sewage during my port stay now imagine in your mind there is only one loader which needs to load the ship the common sense says the first hold you need to load is cargo hold number four why is that because it is a hold which is in the center of the ship and you want the vessel to sink evenly right i will be loading some cargo in cargo hold number four and consequently then i'll move forward and aft okay now how to move forward and aft and where to move i have simplified this concept but for understanding this we need to go back to the loading sequence form all right so this was our loading sequence personally for me i devise my loading sequence into four steps the step number one is you put some amount of cargo in all the holes our ship is a panamax ship having seven cargo holes all right so in this case i want to put some cargo in all the holes in order to make sure that all holes contain some amount of cargo and the stresses are not out of the limits okay so this is my step one step number two is that i will finish off loading hole number one three five and seven and this i'm talking about is a panamax carrier because we have got seven holds i don't want to overly stress the ship okay so for this i need to load one three five and seven so this is a step number two whereby i'll be completing the alternate holds that is one three five and seven completely okay then comes the step number three whereby i will be finishing holds number two four and six except the trimming amounts okay and as you know on a panamax ship normally you use the penultimate holes that is hole number two and hole number six in normal circumstances in order to carry out the trimming so in this case i will be using 
hole number two and six and that will be our final step if you are on a handy max carrier or an ultra max carrier i advise that you use hole number one and five for carrying out trimming so let us go through this process again i break down my loading sequence into four parts the step number one is you load some amount of cargo in all the holes after that you finish off the alternate holes that is one three five and seven the step number three is you finish the holes two four and six except the trimming quantities and the last step is to trim the ship using hole number two and six let's go back to the load indicator and start loading so as i'm using only one loader i will be loading in cargo hole number four let's say i want to put uh, a cargo of uh, five thousand tons okay so when i put some cargo in cargo hole number four i need to take out ballast also i just go to the ballast water tank and uh, let's say i empty out water ballast tank number four let's say i am remaining with only 10 tons of unpumpable ballast so i have pumped out ballast tank number four port and starboard and I've loaded 5,000 tons of cargo in cargo hole number four. So our forward draft is 4.8, our mid draft is 6.4, our aft draft is 7.83, the trim is fine. The stresses are 58% and 50% in port, the density is 1.0 to 5. All right, so this is what it is. I will just check the air draft. The air draft on top of the hatch cover number one in this case is 17.92 okay we have this data let us put this data in the loading sequence all right so first hole was number four we loaded 5000 tons ballast operation was you pump out ballast tank number four port and stop it to 100 percent all right you can put the time required depending upon the quantity in the ballast tank number four divided by the de ballasting capacity so you can put the time i'm not putting the time basically here so you can do it yourself so so as per the loadicator if you remember you got the draft 4.83 6.4 7 7.83 just put in the figures over here that is 4.83 7.83 so you have got the trim over here automatically i have put the formula that is half draft minus forward draft gives you the trim the bm and sf are about 58 percent and 51 percent SF and BMR 58 and 51 percent okay so this the first pour has gone okay so what be our next hold the load let's go to the load indicator and check again if you load in the aft part of the ship you will trim more so you already have three meters of trim you want to reduce the trim remember we are in first step whereby we are loading some cargo in all the holes so let us load in cargo hole number two say 6000 tons of cargo if you see you have your trim has turned negative which means you have gone down by head but when worry not because you'll be taking out ballast also so which ballast tank you want to pump out let's say you want to pump out water ballast tank two three so these are big tanks i'll be having slightly more unpumpable here so i'll make 20 tons in each tank all right so this works for me i have forward draft as 4.93 aft as 7.52 and the trim is 2.58 the stresses looks fine to me so let's 
function this information in our excel sheet Okay, let's say point number three, where you want to load. Let's check up our cargo hold diagram. Let's check the cargo hold. And now you have got about 2.58 meters of trim. You don't want to go right behind in cargo hold number seven because it will increase the trim too much. I would better go in cargo hold number six for that matter. I will load about 5,000 tons here. If you see your trim has shot up to 4.83 but we don't want that we want to reduce the trim so in this case we need to pump out the aft ballast tank that is 5.6 let's say I put about 15 tons of unpumpable in both the tank so we have got a trim of about 3 meters which is fine works well for me I don't want to trim the ship too much. 3 meters is fine for a Panamax. I go by that figure. I do not exceed it more than that. So let's punch in this information. Sometimes if the air draft requirement is at the port, to reduce the air draft, we need to take some water in cargo hole number 4. So in that case, your first loading hole can not be hole number 4 because you need to pump out hole number 4 also. In that case, you either start with number 3 or number 5. We will discuss that kind of a situation in one of our next videos. Let's go to 4th step. And our apologies because I'm shooting this on the ship. I have very limited resources on ship and that's how I'm shooting it. But the point is whether you're getting that clarity of the concept and if it is, I think the purpose is solved. So the next I want to load to hole number one. So hole number one, I will put about 5,500 tons of cargo. It's just an hit and try. You, you have to come to a certain quantity of cargo, you do not want to load a lot of cargo but at the same time you do not want to load very less cargo in the first port the best way is to put minimum two pores in one cargo hold at least two pores in one cargo hold but you cannot do like six pores in one cargo hold that is very much not acceptable by most of the terminals around the world minimum of two pores yes very much acceptable some cargo holes can go up to four but not more than that somewhere down the line you have to come to a quantity like in this case if i have said that i need to load 5500 tons of cargo in cargo hole number one then i have come to this figure with some hit and try basically but now if you see you have got a trim of negative that is the vessel has gone down by down by head that is minus 1.25 so in that case you need to pump out certain tanks and uh, in the present scenario it will be four peak tank and tank number one so four peak will pump out let's say the unpumpable is about 10 tons number one also I have pumped out so again now you have got a positive trim of about 1.92 meters which is good good for taking out the ballast and down by head condition you will have a lot of difficulty in taking out ballast but in this situation it's good enough so we have this information now you have to punch in this information into your loading loading sequence sheet so let's go
let's quickly move ahead and check which all holes are remaining to be filled up okay this time i want to go with hole number five all right because if i load in number seven we will trim too much and we don't have many tanks in the aft cater to the high trim which will not be possible in the present scenario so what we'll do we'll not go extreme aft we'll load cargo hole number five so in this case hole number five i will go with a quantity of five thousand tons so trim becomes 2.98 and you're not you are okay you are not carrying out any deblasting in the sequence so let's punch in this information next i want to go to number three and number after that will be number seven so like i said we are into step number one or the part number one of this loading sequence whereby i'm loading some cargo in all the cargo holes okay so in this case let's hit number three with a cargo of five thousand tons again okay so now also i'm not carrying out any deblasting as of now because i'm keeping tank number seven and half peak for the time when i load in cargo hold number seven okay but as of now i have sufficient trim i have a trim of about 1.7 so i'll not carry out any deblasting as of now so let's punch in this information everything looks good here all right and our last cargo hold which is remaining is cargo hold number seven in that case also i will hit about five thousand tons of cargo in cargo hold number seven but if you see the condition becomes non-acceptable okay over here on your right so in this case if you remember i have ballast in tank number seven and also half peak let us go to the ballast tank and pump out number seven all right so we have got a trim of about 3.67 meters that's a lot of trim so what i will do i will reduce the half peak tank to about 50 percent so if you see the trim has quickly come down to 2.94 close to 3 good enough for me i'll just check condition remains acceptable very nice let's punch in this information to our loading sequence sheet If you notice the moment you were loading in all the holes your stresses were about 58 60 58 68 you went almost up to 68 percent of stress when you were loading in cargo hole number one but the moment you loaded in cargo hole number seven your stresses dropped down to 25 percent and 29 percent that is the reason why you want to load some cargo in all the holes the initial loading time when you're loading out in all the cargo holes is very crucial because at the same time you're carrying out deballasting also so the vessel is subjected to a lot of stress a lot of change in the stress the sfpm changes very rapidly it's particularly important when you're loading in ports where you have got a very high loading rate so in that case you have to be very sure about what you're doing in this case if you see at hole number seven your stresses have come down to 25 and 29 percent and that is where you will move on to the step number two whereby you will be finishing one three and five seven if you monitor closely these are the alternate holes and we'll be carrying out trimming using hole number two and six so let's move to the loadicator and check where we can load as of now you've got a trim of 2.94 meters so definitely you cannot go aft because you're almost finished your deballasting now you have only 50 percent half peak tank remaining 
which is a very small tank and not give much of a help also but since you have got about 2.94 meters of trim you need to load something which is forward in this case i will go and load in hole number one so let us load about 3000 tons of cargo in hole number one so if i add 3000 to this figure it becomes 8500 All right. So in this situation, you have got a trim of about 0.75 meters. Let us punch in this information to our loading sequence sheet. The next hold has to be out of three, five and seven. I would prefer going to hold number five in this case. Okay let's say i want to load about 5200 tons of cargo in hole number five so that will give a total of 10200 so at this point we have completed loading hole number five okay if you check on the right side bottom your forward half forward and aft draft are in limits your trim is in limit and so is your stresses looks good to me i will just punch in this information in our loading sequence So the next is either three or seven so let us check where you want to load we have got a trim of about 1.66 so better we go to hole number three now so in hole number three i have to load about nine to five zero tons of cargo in total so let us load four to five zero tons of cargo and get finished with hole number three so this will give us a total of nine to five zero and in this situation the forward draft is 9.85 and 10.41 aft trim is fine stress is fine condition is acceptable let's punch this information in our loading sequence So we are remaining with number seven now let us go to the loadicator and check okay over here i will load number seven with 5200 tons of cargo because maximum we'll be loading in number seven is 10200 tons that will be our final quantity so we can load 5200 tons more and uh, let's make the total as 10200 if you check you have got a trim of about 3.54 meters now at this stage you will be taking out a balance of big tank so your unpumpable quantity becomes equal to the unpumpable quantity which you gave in your dead weight calculation and your storage plan that is 150 okay we go back to cargo hole and check that the forward draft and aft draft is fine the trim is fine you need trim for stripping out tanks it's very important very essential everything looks fine let's punch in this information in loading sequence So the only hole which is remaining to be completed out of one three five and seven is hole number one so let us load the remaining the balance cargo in hole number one which in this case is 2400 tons all right so now we have we are finished loading one three five seven now we need to concentrate on hole number two four and six which are remaining to be loaded and the trimming all right so now we are remaining with hole number two four and six and the trimming let us go to cargo hole and uh, concentrate ourselves on two four 
and 6. Out of 2, 4 and 6 in this present circumstance, I want to go ahead with cargo hold number 4. Hold number 4 will not contribute much to trim change. It will get the ship sinking bodily. So we needed to load about 6,984 tons of cargo. So only 1,984 tons remain. Let us load that quantity and see. So in this case, the forward and draft looks fine to me. Trim is fine. You're already done with your deballasting thing. Let us punch in this information into our loading sequence. Let's check out in cargo hold number 2, you can load maximum of 12,050 tons of cargo and hold number 6, you can load a maximum of 10,300 tons of cargo. Now very important concept comes here is of trimming quantity. You should always keep certain trimming quantity in hand in order to even keel the ship or bring the ship to a certain draft or a trim requirement. That is very essential and you should always make sure that you have sufficient amount of cargo in your hand but that doesn't mean that you should have 10,000 tons of cargo you should have for a panamax kind of a ship as per my experience you should have about 2,000 to 3,000 tons of cargo i take a quantity of about 2400 tons that is 1200 from each hold so in this case 12050 minus 1200 and 10300 minus 1200 that is a total of 2400 tons of cargo is kept aside in order to carry out the trimming just in case if you are not familiar with the trimming procedures and calculation i highly advise you to watch the link to which is being provided below you can always click the link and check out that thing but uh, I would advise you to keep sufficient amount of cargo in your hand in this case in this present case it will be 2400 which i have kept that is 1200 tons from cargo hold number two and 1200 tons from cargo hold number six so let us load cargo hold number six first and cargo hold number two with a quantity which is this quantity minus 1200 and for hold number six it should be this quantity minus 1200 so let us do that and check out so if you load 4100 tons of cargo in cargo hold number six it will take the total to 9100 similar is the case with cargo hold number two let's punch in this information into our loading sequence Now we are remaining with cargo hold number 2. Let us load a quantity of 4850. 480 tons of cargo in cargo hold number 2. 10,850 tons of cargo in cargo hold number 2. So I hope you are clear with the concept of trimming also. Just in case if you are not, you can always go back and check the video on trimming. So now you have loaded a total of 67,484 tons of cargo in your ship. Let's quickly put this figure into our loading sequence. So in this case, our restriction is at Gangavaram and our departure draft which we have calculated is about 13.07 max which is the aft draft so in this case let us put 1200 tons of cargo in hole number six and hole number two we know we are left with only 1200 tons of cargo in both the cargo holes let's load 1200 tons in cargo hole number six so in this case you have got uh, forward and aft draft and limits and trim is also fine stresses looks fine to me let's punch in this information into our loading sequence the last hold 1200 tons remaining in cargo hold number two 
let's put this cargo in hole number two which takes the total to one two zero five zero all right so now you have got a total cargo of 69,884 which was your dead weight calculation quantity also your pre-store plan quantity so you have loaded the full cargo and you can check out that the forward draft is 13 meters aft draft is 13.07 and the trim is about 7 centimeters so this is how you should be planning your cargo if you want to arrive Langavaram on even keel of 13 meters okay so let's punch this information into our loading sequence file and you can check out here the total quantity is 69,884 looks good to me the last very important row is the departure C condition so departure C conditions remain same only one thing will change that is SF and BM so for that just go to the sea condition and change to ocean so ocean you have got about 72 percent and 42 percent sf and pm respectively so i'll just punch in this information 72 percent and 42 percent the trim is 0 0.07 all right so we have completed our loading sequence so this is how your loading sequence looks like i hope i was able to clarify your queries with respect to loading sequences because this was the most requested video over my email id and also in the comment section thank you so much for watching if you have got any queries any questions any things which you want us to clear then please please do write to us at ask at the rate funnel to tunnel.com thank you so much for watching again bye take care have a nice day